Yeah, we still got our tree. Um, we need to take this thing down because um, it's after Christmas, like half a month after Christmas, and um, time to take the bloody thing down. Just saying. So it is so freaking cold here in Virginia. I am freezing my ass off. I'm chilling at home today by myself, and I should probably make a fire. Honestly, I probably should. Just I should take this thing, the tree right here. Obviously, take the ornaments off and put it in the fire right there and go blase, blase, blase or something. Yeah. So, um, if you uh, don't live here in D.C., I'm telling you right now, it is freaking cold as not hell, obviously, because hell is, well, really warm. But it is so cold that I really want to make a fire because I'm way too, like, freaking cold. So... Let's step outside for just a moment and see how it's like. Oh my god, this is freezing. Oh, that's not bad, that's not bad, but still it's like freaking cold. I got some, got some Kindle wood. Great. So I guess I gotta fix all uh, this up and that, and we got quite a lot of logs, so honestly, um, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be fine making a fire so um why don't we get to that and yeah we shall we shall we shall mm -hmm. <sighs> okay so i'm putting the little stickies in and i gotta put these biggie stickies in and then i put in the freaking logs and then i open up the freaking flu which actually is already open interesting oh my god i was a boy scout eagle scout and making fires used to be easy and then it's like oh you gotta make them inside your house so like i can't like blow up the house obviously so now we go ahead and we put the big bad boy on <laughs> i think that works all right let's put this other one on <sighs> By the way, kids, do not try this at home without adult supervision. Um, and if I uh, if I ever come over to someone's house and they have kids, don't let me do this either because I probably will burn down the house. And hopefully I don't burn down my mom's house right now. So if, uh, if I do, sorry, mom, just extremely cold. <sighs> it's literally 60 degrees in this house. I don't know why, but it is. And the heat is like not working and it's shit and it's like broken and whatnot it's not broken but i mean just not working the way i want it to work so i have my heater upstairs in my room that's trying to heat my room but honestly it's only 20 degrees outside and it's supposed to get down to like 10 or so tonight so it's whatever oh my god now i have to do this the flame the flame Really? I'm out of flame? <sighs> yeah. Maybe I should just rub two sticks together. That will take freaking forever. I got the fire going, which is good. So, <laughs> oh my god, at least I can get warm now. So, uh, now I just need some either popcorn or some wine or some thing to eat, basically. Um, and I guess I'm just gonna chill here and make myself nice and toasty, roasty. However, we have one other problem the TV. Uh, I don't know what happened, um, but it won't turn on. And I don't know what happened, and I feel like a just uh, not good about it. So I don't know what to do. And it's Sunday, so you can't really call maintenance. And um, I don't know who to call really. So um, at the current moment, since it's two thirty in the afternoon, it's like 
What do I call? So, I don't know. Um, I guess I'll just watch uh, my YouTube or movies online while I'm sitting down here and just getting warm. And actually, it's actually really warm now. Thank God. All right, awesome. So um, I'll talk to you all in a little bit, okay? All right, awesome. Um, just enjoy the fire with me. <gasps> Ooh. All right, so I'm in myself a sandwich. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's just basically just onion, tomato, and um, cheese. So, yeah, gonna eat that. And then I'm actually going over to Kleiser Reston this afternoon, right around 4.30 to 5 o'clock. I'm talking to a new manager about transferring. Um, so, not transferring because I want to transfer. I'm transferring because I'm forced to basically pick a new Clyde's and I'll talk about, about this more in my video later on but if you haven't already heard or seen any of my posts recently over um, Facebook um, it's very sad but Clyde's of Tyson's is actually closing down after February 4th. Very very sad I'll get into more details later on in the video but because they're closing down and people need to transfer to other locations um, they are nice enough to give me an opportunity to go and talk to a manager over at the Reston one and see what they can do um, in terms of giving me some extra hours. Now, I will still be over at the Crown Plaza 24-7, uh, basically. Uh, just I want to have some extra cash in my pocket, and I do need some extra cash because in March we're going to freaking MGM National Harbor to go see Cher. We're staying the whole entire weekend, so I do need the extra cash for when Max and I go over that weekend. So I'll get into all the details later. Um, but I just want to just point it out that unfortunately we are closing down in less than a month, and it's so sad. <sighs> so yes, um, but I actually have to eat the sandwich real fast, and then I have to go get ready. So yes. Um, Come to me, Mr. Sandwich. We got voted down and whatever, and um, now you have this monstrosity. Uh, and Tyson's always been a drag a bit, but now to have those things. <laughs> It's ridiculous. It's well, it's there, it's like dinosaurs, you know. Over there. <laughs> <laughs> Exactly. Anyway. Anyways, but I mean, we'll see what happens. But they're just gonna close down the actual site for right now. Um, they're not gonna t demolish it or anything, but they're literally just going to close the doors. Um, and that's why people are now just kind of a bit more in a, pa in, in, in a panic because they're not really sure what to do. So they're offering you know, half, or they, they, they literally told all the employees, look, like, we'll do our best to transfer people, but, you know, it's not a guarantee, so I'm just trying my luck out with uh, Reston to see what they can do. I'm sure you do, okay. But it's so weird, um, the other day, I think on Facebook or something, one of my friends, um, she works for Apple, and she's based in um, China right now. But they came back, and um, she was saying something like, we're going to collide and, and um, entice and, you know, for a whatever. I'm going, oh, sure, you can, but. Mm -hmm. It has a history. No, it definitely does have a history. And it'd be nice to kind of keep that around or whatever. I don't know. Exactly. Yeah. Alright, so I just came out of Clyde's arrest in here, so I'm waiting for my best friend Zoe to come pick me up and then we're gonna go back over to my house and we're gonna go see Yes and we're gonna do all this amazing fun crap basically. So I'm just waiting for her outside. But basically I am not entirely sure on if I want to transfer over to Clyde's or not of Reston. Um I still have to work out a couple kinks I guess on my schedule, but I think it's gonna be okay. Um, I just have to, like, I don't know, decide on exactly what I want to do. Um, so, yes. Anyways, but yeah, everyone's getting outside, and they're so cold here. It's, like, 18 degrees. I don't know what they're doing. They're just skating. I would not do that, but it's whatever. Anyways, I'll talk to you all later. 
I don't know where she is, but it's like whatever. So cool. So, um, woohoo! Talk you back when I get actually back inside and where I'm warm and not freezing my ass off. Okay, okay, bye! Hey everyone, alright, so it is the next day and last night was interesting. Um, I had my best friend Zoe come over and um, she tried fixing my TV, which is broken still, but we couldn't figure out how to do it. But we actually set up our HDMI cable to my old laptop and we got to watch, um, what was it? Oh my god, what did we watch? Um, freaking Lord of the Rings. <laughs> on my laptop last night through um, Amazon or, or whatever account she has or, or whatnot, not Netflix, but some other freaking, um, yeah, it was Amazon, I think, Prime. And then uh, she went home and I just uh, came up here and watched Netflix and I passed out at like 11.30 at 12 o'clock, basically. Um, <laughs> so when I got to resting yesterday, um, on my way over there, when I got my Uber, uh, the Uber driver actually was like the first thing he was talking about he's like did you hear about Clyde and tyson's closing and i was like oh my god uh i kind of work there that's what i'm going to rest in to see if i can like sort out any kind of like schedule or anything so it's kind of funny how um the uh the uber driver off the bat was just like oh yeah Clyde and tyson's is cornering uh closing and i was like mm, sad i know um so yeah if you haven't already heard the news we are closing our last day is gonna be february 4th um basically just it's the area, the location, just construction in front of the building, it's just not doing well for the actual establishment. So since we're not bringing in a whole lot of monies, um, they have decided corporate-wide to just go ahead and close down the building for indefinitely, I guess. Um, no, they are not demolishing it as far as I know. They're just closing up the doors, and that's basically that. It's going to take about another four years until all the development around uh, Clydes of Tyson's is actually complete and then after that they may do something with the actual property but again that's just way too much into the future um but it is sad to see my first ever job and kind of my my second home actually being closed down um so it is quite sad and hopefully everyone there gets the opportunities that they deserve going to either another class location or going out in the world doing something else if it's not restaurants maybe just you know another job or something so hopefully everyone there does get the opportunities that they deserve to go out into the world and continue working because um that's a big thing uh closing down an actual um establishment like that there's a lot of people who are out of the job and they need to get a new job so um Good luck to everyone out there um, getting um, the new jobs, and hopefully you can get relocated to other uh, clients' restaurants. My, myself, I'm not entirely sure what I want to do just yet, because resting is a, that way, and Tyson's is that way, and, um, <laughs> so I don't know how I'm going to work out a schedule, um, but I hope that we can do at least something so I can get at least, like, one or two shifts a week over there, but... Who knows, we have to wait until February comes around and all the other stuff. So over the past 20-something uh, days, I'm going to be basically going in and out of Clydes of Tyson's, just saying a couple of final goodbyes and good lucks and farewells basically to everyone. So, But it's been an awfully fun ride working for uh, the Tyson's location. So um, thank you very much everyone who has been there and has been very supportive um, and have helped out in so many ways um so yes <laughs> um so yeah basically that is that so i guess i'm gonna end the video here um and thank god i didn't burn my house down yesterday when i made my fire so yeah that's a good thing so definitely um all right well um i'm gonna be off doing other crazy things today i gotta go get a freaking haircut so hopefully i can go ahead and do that finally um and i'll talk to everyone very very soon until next time remember to keep your eye to the sky okay it's supposed to be freaking cold again today but DC, we're going to get into like the 50s and even 60s at the end of this week, so look out for that. All right, everyone, take care. Bye.